going on guys? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to Eric Meal Time and today we are doing vending machines. We gotta get on the monorail here. And I think the machines are going to be I forget. Something different. Something new. Something I've never tried before. Let's do it. It's a soba restaurant with two vending machines. Oh, classic style restaurant. I like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This place has got some history, huh? Showa Sanjinen. Wow. Classy, huh? Like that. Oh, soba buckwheat noodles. This is a first. Oh, and they've got tempura. Tempura for two people. The gyoza dumplings. Wow, how many years is that? It's like 100 years. Japan's number one YouTuber has been here. He's eating the shrimp tempura. Uh, ooh, here's a grab bag for 1500 yen. You don't know what you're gonna get. Interesting, there's a grab bag for a thousand yen. I like these kind of machines. So yeah, they're famous. They've been on TV here, huh? Quite a bit, it looks like, with celebrities. And this, what's this machine? This is all mystery. This is rare to find all these, huh? Huh, all right, interesting. So this is what you can get out of these 16 pictures. Okay. Could get pizza, it looks like. Corn dogs, or what's that, unagi, eel, sea, freshwater sea eel. Freshwater sea eel? Freshwater eel. <laughs> Sausages look good. Ooh, look at that steak you could get. Gotta try it, huh? Ooh, this is exciting. Uh, don't have change for the machine. Uh -huh. Got to go to a store and get change. What's this? This is, oh my goodness, this is somebody's house. It's Ikeda-san's house. This is amazing. Wow, it's like a zoo. This is cute. Oh my gosh. Look at all these animals. <laughs> nice touch. I like that. that. That is gorgeous. Beautiful. Hey, little piggy. <laughs> They're waiting for their master to come home. <laughs> so, kitchen court. Okay, they'll have change. I'll have to buy something. Ooh, look, they got a water vending machine. Oh, mineral water. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. She drinks it. Okay, what do we got? Gum, snacks, chocolates. Let's get crunky with it, shall we? How many of you guys would like to see a, a proper supermarket tour? Would you like to see that? Proper. It means I uh, show you my standard grocery shopping, I guess, or something? Let me know if you're interested in that. Dried ramen snacks. 
this, you can buy, this is hot pot ingredients, ready to go. You can make your own hot pot, just add hot water. For 348 yen, 30% off. That's a bargain, huh? Meats, got tofu, lots of veggies. That's healthy eats right there. But uh, we're eating vending machine food in this video. Got some chocolate cream pops. Oh, these look good. Oh yeah. Mmm. Hershey's chocolate inside. Like moose inside. Whoa. And chilled. Oh, these are good. Okay, so let's get started here, shall we? name of the place is Tokyo Tachikawa since 1928. It's almost 100 years, huh? 95 years of history, huh? That this place has got. Yeah, all right, let's try the noodles. That's the main thing here. It's a soba noodle restaurant, so. Price is 1,500. Uh, let's see, one, number four or five. Big. Look at that, huh? And this is this serves two people. Yeah, that looks good, huh? Some volume there. There's the buckwheat noodles. Okay, and let's also do the tempura. And this is also a serving for two people. Number two. Come down. It is. There's the tempura. So tempura and soba go together well, I think. So this is gonna be nice. All right. Should we do the gyoza too? What do you think, the dumplings? Just for fun? 700 yen, you get 15 of them. That's a pretty good deal. All right. Enough change here. Number three is sold out. Number six is good. Dumplings, yo. Oh, those look good. Love these things. Okay, coming over here to the mystery foods machine. Mystery foods. The top one is desserts. So we'll do one dessert and then one of these main dishes here. So we'll do main dish first, number six, I think. You guys always say, Eric, do number six. Always do number six. You have to do number six. Number six is sold out. <laughs> so five it is. Oh, this is hefty. What is it? What is it? Oyaki, it says. Interesting looking, isn't it? They look, they look like little hamburgers. What are they, pitas? What's inside them? It's a mystery. We'll have to let you know. And finally, let's do the desserts here. It's really heavy. What is that? 
what is that? Some kind of cake. It says Ichigo Cheesecake. Ichigo Cheesecake. Strawberry Cheesecake. Whoa, score. Oh my, nice. Got a thousand yen left. Let's buy one more, shall we? The mystery food on this, from this picture. It's different from this one. So, seven, eight, nine. Lucky seven. Oh, it's a rice to onigiri balls. These are fried onigiri rice balls. Nice. You get a lot of them. What, 10 of them in there? Just a picture of it. Nice, on a giddy, all right. Hey, check out my new GoPro. Woohoo, it's the Hero 11. Yeah, love this camera. at the Asakusa Ham Factory. This is their delivery trucks. Yeah, ham. Classic, huh? Since 1932. Oh, I like this. Yeah, uh, they're closed right now, but, 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 but. We've got a beautiful vending machine here that sells, what, sausages? Ooh, I like that stuff. That's the cured ham. Beautiful, huh? Oh no, so they got some curry. Ooh, that looks interesting. What are those things, huh? That looks good. There's the ham there. Oh. Oh boy, sliced ham. Woo! Packs of sausages, this is nice, huh? Oh, let's see if stuff's available here. Everything's available, that's good. Oh, so it takes cash, coins, and also electronic payments, that's good. It's a hamburger down here. Yeah. All right, let's get some. Here's what it looks like inside the factory, huh? Okay, let's take a closer look at this one here where you can see the arrows. You got foie gras on the outside, the ham in the middle, and a pistachio nut. That's exotic. So the prices seem very reasonable. I think there's really just hors d'oeuvres. So for instance, like this dish here, you get three packs for 600 yen, so hors d'oeuvres. You know, it's gonna be like, like this probably, right? There's not gonna be much to it. Let's get a few different kinds and uh, yeah, we'll have a party at home with Mega. That's the logo right there. Oh yeah, hello piggy. All right, it is time to get some. Let's start up here at the top, shall we? Got to get this foie gras stuff. Foie gras roll, whatever it is, mixed thing. It's exotic. Yeah, let's do it. Get the loot out here. And what is that, number one? Money going in. 500.
coming down. Oh, it comes in a nice box. This is nice, huh? That's pretty. Moving down here, let's try this. I like that you get three packs. So this is, I believe, their signature ham, it looks like. It looks like it's pretty thick slices, too. Roast ham. Okay, it says chashu for 600. Ooh, this is exciting. <laughs> Number five, fiber. Same box. Yeah, it says that's the roast ham on it. That's good. Three packs. It's pretty heavy too, 100 grams times three of them. So that's good. Definitely try the wieners, huh? You get five different types, it looks like. And there's two packs inside for 700. Let's do that. Seven for 700. When the light comes on, take the product, it says, okay. All right, here it is. You can see on the sticker there, it says five of the wieners, two pack. All right, let's go get our meat on. Dinner is served, your highness. Let's start out with the cheers, shall we? Come pie. Okay. I'm having the milk tonight. I'm having the beer. Milk okay. Are you of age to drink that? Yeah. What do you say we trade? Let's trade. Oh, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Sapporo Gold Star. What kind of milk is that? It's 3.5 milk. 3.5. Okay, let's get started. We have got a lot of stuff tonight. This meal is a bonanza, isn't it? It's, it's pretty extreme. A lot of stuff from vending machines, new stuff. Where are you going to go? Let's start with the soba. Soba, okay. Hot soba. We have a lot of hot items tonight. All right, and with the soba, let's see, we've got some dipping sauce, correct? And you've got the toppings over there too. So wasabi and what is that, chives? Now you can either put it on top of the soba or you can put it in the soup or the sauce. Which do you prefer? Put it on soba, I guess. This is just, it's a huge bowl. This serving is for two people, right? That's what the vending machine said. So how is it gonna taste? That's the question. And it's considered polite to slurp your noodles in Japan, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, it really is. Mm -hmm. Soba buckwheat noodles. Now, you know, the shop that I got this from, the restaurant, the machine's just right out in front. They've got almost 100 years of history. I think it was 95 years of history. These are good, huh? Mm. It's way better than the stuff I buy at the supermarket. Nice texture, the noodles, huh? Yeah. Really nice and soft. Oh, it's good. And the hint of wasabi, perfection. I mean, just this bowl of soba noodles right here is a meal in itself, but we are just getting started. <laughs> Next up, um, I'm thinking the tempura. I gotta eat the tempura while it's hot. Yeah. Okay, and that you can also dip into the same sauce. And these actually they go together. They right. 
And some people would just go like this. They would put this on top of the saw bun, eat together. Yeah. All right, you can do that. So start with the Ebby. You can do that. I almost forgot that they go together. <laughs> tempura and the soba. Okay. Hmm. It's very yellow. <laughs> right? Like my t-shirt. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. To me, I think the color of soba is is one of the properties, right? And this is it's it's yellow. Okay, good though, huh? The batter is nice and light, right? It's just a little crispy, but yeah, it's really light, soft, right? Just a little bit of crunch, right? Not too flaky. Yeah, yeah. So it's different everywhere, tempura, and that's the interesting thing. These, I believe, are shishito peppers. Mm-hmm. Not too spicy, but there's a little bit of bite to shishito peppers. Yeah. A little bit of bitterness in a nice way. Yeah. And what else have we got here? I think there's two of everything. This is two orders of the tempura here as well, too. So there's two of everything. Lotus root. Okay, pretty basic. Very soft. Yeah. And how you know is typically lotus root is crunchy, right? Yeah. So that's how you know when they've prepared it like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's maybe it's been cooked for a little bit longer than normal. Next up, this is the pumpkin, correct? Yeah. Or Japanese squash. It's a really small little tiny little pumpkin. Mm-hmm. I like the pumpkin the best. It's sweet. Yeah. And last but not least, what is that, a heart? <laughs> I think this is a, a type of fish, right? White yeah. fish. Okay, so you are up, Mega. Where are you going to go, Mr. Wizard? Goza. Goza time. And the Goza also comes with a sauce. Okay, which is... Do you know what's in a Goza sauce? There's three things. Show you. And then there's, like, the vinegar. Yeah. And then there's that hot, the red one, the, the orange one. The That's, spicy uh, oil. Ryu. Ryu. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And wasabi, if you like it, yes? No? No. Okay. I don't know anybody that eats wasabi with gyoza. <laughs> so we'll have to try it. I mean, why not, right? I'm just going to put a little bit on top of a piece, a big piece. And what's nice about the gyoza is when you put it in the fry pan, you get this nice char on the bottom of it. Right? It makes it crunchy. Yeah. That's the business of gyoza, is getting that crunchy texture on the bottom. Tastes amazing, doesn't it? Mmm. Oh, yeah. That is flavorful. So I'm tasting the nira in there, which is the uh, garlic chives. Right? Yeah. And then there's a minced uh, pork. Good value, I believe, too. I think it was 15 pieces for how much? I'll put the prices down below in the video description if you want to have a look. So, that was that. I'm thirsty. Next up, that was your choice, right? Let's do some of the meat eat items. Yeah, let's do a meat item. This pork is calling me. That's actually roasted ham, isn't it? He's ready. Let's do it. And this comes from a, an actual ham factory that's been around in Asksa for, I don't know, a long time. 
Mm -hmm. What I'll say is it's nice and thick, first of all. Yeah, it's Typically, thick. ham in Japan is served. It's so thin, and it just, it's almost flavorless. This <laughs> has got a lot of flavor, doesn't it? It's a sweetness to it. And a nice meaty texture, right? Yeah. It's like a steak. What do you say we take a little break? Okay. And we're going to introduce a new segment here. It's kind of an intermission at the center of the meal. Usually we just roll on through all the way to the dessert before we take a break, right? Yeah. So today, especially since we got a lot of food, let's. it would be a good time to introduce this new segment. And it's called, what is it called? Cool Stuff Time. That's the working title, Cool Stuff Time. So I'll introduce an item, and he'll introduce an item, and then we'll get on with the meal. Okay, so what did you bring today for cool stuff? A box. Well, it's in the box. Open the box. I got a deck of cards. Okay. And what's, what's cool about those cards? <laughs> you can do anything. You can do anything? They're, yeah. what, they're unicorn cards. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool, unicorn cards. You could do anything. For example... Oh, okay, that kind of stuff. What is that? That's, there's a name for that. It's, what is it called? Cardistry or something? Yeah. Cardistry or card flourishes? I like that. Ooh, the waterfall. That's pretty sweet. Nice. Okay. Definitely cool stuff. I like that a lot. All right, for my part, it's the wacky, wavy, inflatable tube guy. <laughs> Home edition. He's right here. I've got them rolled up, ready to go. Fire in the hole. Wacky, waving, inflatable tube guy. Wacky, wavy, wacky, wavy, inflatable tube guy. Wacky, wavy, inflatable tube guy. Wacky, wavy, something rather inflatable <laughs> tube guy. Home edition. Get some. I thought the card stuff was excellent. Yeah, cardistry, card flourishes, excellent job, Mega. How long have you been practicing that? About three months. Three months, that long. For the wacky, wavy, inflatable tube guy, I've been practicing about five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. I had to get the speed right you know, on him. Yeah, in the beginning, he wasn't waving at all. He was just kind of limp like this, and he would just go. And then I had it too powerful, and he just like stuck straight up the whole time. So anyway, would you guys like to see more of Cool Stuff Time? Let us know. Anyway, we needed a break from the food because I was just stuffed. Stu not stuffed, but just... Yeah, kind of stuff. I guess the food's got to go down a little bit. All right. Next up, you were going to choose this, I believe, right? Is that correct? This. Oh, that. The, okay, the rice balls. Okay. And what did we got? Something with rice balls. What was it? We got seaweed. Oh, okay, you're right. The noti seaweed, the wraps. Okay, good. And these are the, what What type of rice balls are these? Do you know? It's fried, fried, fried rice. Fried just, rice. I don't think there's anything inside, right? No. And they're already coated with, it looks like shoyu, probably? Yeah. And basically, you wrap it in the nori, and then your fingers don't get oily. Right? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Mmm. Got some flavor. And there's a crispiness to the rice. Yeah. On the bottom. Where it's been fried, obviously. Mm. Takes a long time to chew. Yeah. Let's see who can finish the fastest.
Done? No. Okay. You win. All right, next up, we have got an exotic one. Are you ready for something you've never had before? Yeah. There is foie gras inside here, which is duck liver or goose liver. And then there's a slab of ham and there's pistachio nuts and it's all wrapped in some type of pastry. Okay, it looks incredible, doesn't it? Looks nice. And basically duck liver is, I guess, considered a delicacy. It's a fat, fatty duck meat. Duck meat's good. You've had that, right? But yeah. the liver part is fatty. Piece of ham in there and there's a pistachio nut. It's <laughs> weird. There's one pistachio nut in it. Just one. Maybe two. Okay, let's do it. It's like a pate, right? Yeah. Pate, which is, you know, it's like an hors d'oeuvre. So this is served cold. It's creamy. Very creamy. I like the bite with the ham in it better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but foie gras is the main, I guess the main draw, the main ingredient. You've never had foie gras, right? No. Yeah, it's different. And the pastry on the outside? It is a pastry. It's not really sweet, not crispy, but uh, soft. Yeah. Maybe a little sweet. Let's do the chef salad, shall we? Okay. And this is, you know what type of salad this is? You've seen this before. This is the hijiki. Hijiki sea plants, the black ones. Not a lover of this stuff, but, but I do like it once in a while. If you haven't had it in a while, it's nice. Yeah. And it's got a powerful taste. It's fit. I, I wouldn't say it's fishy, but it's what is it? What's the word? It's okay. It's fishy. <laughs> if you haven't had seaweed before, don't start with hijiki. Right? It's powerful. Yeah. Go with the green seaweed, not the black. <laughs> <laughs> the black is more advanced level. <laughs> oh, just got it. Is it the smell? It's the taste. The fishy's not the right word. It's potent, concentrated, stronger taste. Let's eat the oyaki. Oyaki, or the what Taiwan buns, I guess you call them, right? Dump giant dumpling buns, but they're heavy. Oh my god, there's a lot of weight. It looks like pork, kind of shredded pork, and the outside <clears throat> is, is really greasy. <laughs> Going in, I don't know. <laughs> What do you think? I think it's similar to shumai dumplings. Oh, okay. But yeah, the pork inside. All right. Shumai dumplings, the little tiny ones, but there's so much volume to this. I mean, this, this one bun is a meal in itself, I think. It's really, really heavy dough. And the meat, yeah, shu, shu, show you, shu, shu, shumai. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you, shumai. Why does it have to be so greasy on the outside? <laughs> Meh. I don't think I can finish that. It's not that I don't like it. It's just it's a lot of food. So tomorrow's a big day because I get the stitches out of my hand. Yeah, wish me luck. Is it dessert time? It feels like dessert. No, it's not. We've got this right in front of me, the sausage modioase, which is mixed sausages. And what do we have to go with this? There's wasabi. I mean, sausage would go good with wasabi, I think. Maybe. Especially like the herb one right here. Yeah. You can almost tell the one with the herb one. Because it's got the little, you can see the herb herbs in it, the little dots. And that's probably a spicy one. Like maybe chutisal. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Mmm. Oh, it's like a ham sausage. This is fabulous. Juicy. How's yours? 
Very juicy. Very juicy? Spicy at all? A little bit. Okay. This is going to be the, the chorizo. Yeah, this is the darker one. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, wherever you go in Japan, sausages have a different flavor. There's quite a market for, what, making sausages in Japan, I would say. Yeah. So if you eat them at a restaurant, they're, they're always going to be a bit different. Okay. And actually, the wasabi works pretty well. I, I prefer, like, a hot mustard, but... um. Wasabi is just as good. Okay, I'm going for the hot, the chorizo, the hot one. You too? Okay, these are the same, I'm pretty sure. This is a tougher meat. Yeah. Right? Not as juicy. Drier. Oh, hot. Wasabi hot. Sausage hot. Double hot. Double heat. Oh. <laughs> Huh? It comes on later, not after the first bite, right? Yeah. It's good. I think it's my favorite one. I'm crying a little bit, but it's really good. Okay. And is there one you haven't tried yet? This one? The basic. Okay. This looks like, uh, what does it look like? It's the lightest colored one. Oh. Better than I'd expect. It has a pureness to it. Yeah. Doesn't it? Mmm. I really like this one. I don't know how else to describe it, but... Right? It's mellow. Yeah. But very nice. Nice texture and pure. Yeah? You put this on top of like uh, sushi or something. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like this one the best. Wow. Not for any particular reason either. Just delicious on its own. <sighs> My beer is almost gone. I better save this last little bit for the dessert. It is dessert time, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You smell it first, and then you have to guess what it is. Strawberry? Strawberry what? Strawberry cheesecake. And well, they're calling this strawberry cheesecake bar. Because they're shaped, I guess, in bar shape. Right? Form? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Do you like cheesecake? Not really. Not really. Okay. You could take that little small piece. Of, if you hate it, you could take that. Not really. I love cheesecake. I'm going to take this giant one right here. That's, they give you quite a bit, huh? That's, it's a whole cake. Just cut up in the shape of bars. All right, I'm not waiting for you. Let's do it. Mmm. Still don't like cheesecake? I like cheesecake. <laughs> oh, that's nice. It's really nice. It's very soft. And the strawberry taste is legit, right? Yeah. And the cheese, not too sharp, right? Pretty sweet. It matches pretty well. And the breading is soft. Oh, it's a good taste. Kind of reminds me of like Japanese like birthday cake a little bit. Yeah. But the, the cheese is, it's mellow. Mm. I could eat all this easily. Not too sweet, right? But sweet enough. Yeah. I'd say just about right. And that's the way Japanese sweets are. They're typically not as sweet as like Americans, right? Yeah. Last bite, and then it's time to rate this meal. Who's going to go first? Let's do John Ken. Okay. Move on. So I saw a good John Ken, but he won. So you want to go first or you want to go last? You can choose. I'll go first. Okay. 
I'll give you the, the drum roll. From one to six megaheads, where are you gonna go? I'm gonna go four. Four out of six. That's all? Not seven or eight? No. Okay. I'm thinking I'm gonna go, uh, well, let's talk about the food just for a quick second. What'd you think of the foie gras? That's why, probably, right? Yeah. yeah. Megan didn't like the foie gras. That, that knocked it down to a four. Well, it's all about trying new stuff. Yeah. All about trying new stuff. You got to stay hungry, stay foolish. In the words of Steve Jobs. Because <laughs> staying hungry means you got to try new foods. That's what it means. And expand your palate. That's what it's all about. So I try to bring something new to the table every time for you. And at first, you're probably not going to like it, but you might have it a few years from now or who knows when in your life. And perhaps then you will actually acquire a taste for it and actually like it. Yeah. So I thought the just the variety of stuff. This is like quality eats, high calorie, a lot of meat, heavy, <laughs> right? A lot of carbs. <laughs> I mean... That's got six written all over it for me. This is the kind of meal I love. And sometimes it's hard to find that stuff from vending machines, this much variety of like hearty food. So six for me. I really, really enjoyed it. And the dessert was legit. Yeah. And it's hard to find a good dessert from a vending machine. Yeah. And the, just the ham, excellent. The soba was good, the tempura. Nice, well-rounded meal. So we're giving away three to get some snack packs. We got a new batch of them. And all you have to do is put a comment down below on this video, and we will choose three winners and announce them in the next video. So good luck, everybody. And do you have anything you want to add, Mega? Let us know if you want to see more cool stuff. More cool stuff. I got lots of cool stuff. Yeah, let us know. Thanks. And Eric and Mega, out of here.